What's up, DigiDestins? This is Kyle D, better known as Ride My Avatar, and today we got the new decks that are coming in EX2. We're gonna give a good, like, just a brief understanding. We'll have regular deck profiles and more hyper focus. These are just lists that kind of just topped in Japan, and we're kind of just gonna go over like what new decks are coming into the meta. I organize them basically around the concept of which ones will do better, most likely. And then the least likely to do, but you'll still have fun category. So let's dive right in and talk about it. So let's talk about it. None other than Mother D Reaper. So this Reaper deck is kind of similar to if you were going to classify it under magic terms. You're looking at like Eldrazi. Any deck that kind of just spams out big beefy monsters that kind of just have to answer right away or else... You might not win. So the main thing about the D Reaper deck, there's kind of like two versions you can play. You can play yellow themed, where it uses minusing DP and controlling board state kind of way of play. Or you can do the black version where it has the ability to remove threats off your opponent's board using like mother the Reapers and stuff like that, just to use iron fist onslaught stuff like that having to answer for what you're trying to do majorly what's interesting about mother d reaper is that it can attack itself but if you can give it like blocker which zubborg punch can do you can block with her and then she can't be attacked the sigimon can't attack and can't be affected by your opponent's effects usually if you rest her then you'll gain some advantage out of that sometimes you can win through that but also has the ability of taking, uh, as long as you have only one Mother D Reaper in play, place a Searcher, which is this 20 card column here, or in your hand or on the field as one of these Digivolution cards. And then when your Digimon with D Reaper and his traits would be played from your hand, you may reduce the play cost by one for each Digivolution card. Uh, Saishimon hard counters this deck. Uh, if you can't remove the card right away. So Spiral Masquerade, Iron Fist Onslaught, stuff. Or anything that can just pop a rookie really easily you want to use. You have TK Kari. Uh, just helps out. Uh, just gaining extra memory as we go through the game. So the major reason about Searcher is that as on play, draw a card. It allows 50 copies of itself in the deck. You only need like 20. Uh, but also, it can attack players. But it also all turns all your D-Reapers in their in their traits get plus 1000 dp making them beefy monsters uh and it can just reduce its play cost as long as it's the only one so you just suck it up with mother d reaper if you play one draw a card get it in the reaper and then you can play another one for one cost uh pendulum feet is a very interesting card because revealing the top three cards of your deck add one d reaper in its traits and one adr two searcher from among them to your from among them to your hand so it basically can net you two uh cards just a searcher Bubbles is basically you may put one searcher, one, put one of your searchers or one of your searchers from your hand to the bottom of your mother D Reaper. Helps double splash in. You may on play, you may put one searcher or one searcher from your hand. Same thing, it's the same double effect with bubbles. Uh, Jerry, sus by suspending this Digimon, reveal five cards from the top of your deck, add one searcher. We're always going to be searching for the searcher and then. Put it among them to the bottom of the reaper you're just going to constantly put the searchers and making all your reapers big and making it cheaper and cheaper to play your reapers creepy hands your blocker and you may unsuspend this digimon to force the opponent it's just being able to block is huge gatekeeper is really annoying because play this card without battling without paying its cost on play when you have mother d reaper recovery one so if this is security checked Instantly comes in, recovers one, but then also if you have six sources under your Mother D Reaper, instantly minus them a security check, which is really annoying because if you can't get rid of Gatekeeper right away, you're screwed. Uh, Reaper. So here's something really interesting about Reaper. So when you would play this Digimon, you may trash seven or more Digi-Evolution cards from the bottom of one of your Mother D Reapers to reduce the Digimon's play costs to zero. So Saishimon can't negate this effect because it's reduces it to zero it doesn't say reduce the play cost it's kind of weirding and it's word even but saichimon doesn't counter reaper if i was told correctly but i could be wrong 
Uh, when attacking, you may place two searchers from your trash under this Digimon in order for at, in any order as the Digivolution Evolution cards to unspend this Digimon. So the main objective is build up Mother Day Reaper, play the Reaper, remove all sources from Re seven sources, rebuild up, swing, 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 swing with a 15k body that came in for zero with Rush. So basically an OTK combo style deck with some control elements to help it out. Next deck we're going to talk about is Gallantmon Crimson Mode. It's a new deck, of course. We're, uses all the fancy good stuff. A lot of the the new Gilamon stuff makes it so if this Digimon is Growlmon or Gallamon, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 3,000 DP. It's always checking. Has on play searchers. Uh, majorly what you want to come across is that Takui... Takato lets you, when your Digimon digivolves into a Digimon with Galamon or Growlmon in its name, it gains Blitz for the turn, which allows you to swing in a little bit earlier. Uh, and then your turn, when your Digimon is deleted, you may suspend this Tamer to gain one memory. Opponent's Digimon is deleted, sorry. When your opponent's Digimon, so it reduces deletion costs and stuff like that, of options or even effects of Digi-Evolution if you can pop them. Growlmon here is really good because if this Digimon has Growlmon or Gallimon's name, delete one of your opponents with 3,000 DP. It's all just fancy good stuff there. But it also has delete one of your opponents Digimon with 2,000 DP. If you have a Retamer in play, you can delete a 4,000 DP. Uh, Greymon's Security Checker. Uh, we have Growlmon if one of our opponent's Digimon is deleted, gain a memory. Rise Greymon lowers the DP of your opponent's Digimon, but also can allow you to play your Tamers, which can really help. War Growlmon here. Is really good because it's not the when attacking effect, being able to pop 6,000. It's it's inheritable, so when the max DP of your effects delete is increased by 1,000 DP. So this allows you to pop things that you weren't originally allowed to. Really does help out. The Gilamon here from the starter deck lets you warp into your Gallantmons. Uh, War Growlmon here, extra security checks like the Greymon. Gallantmon himself. This one is really good because when attacking, one of, trash one of your opponent's security for every 10 cards in their trash. This hard counters purple. This can counter the Reaper deck a little bit so you don't have to swing in. This also hard counters a little bit of the yellow hybrid matchup because the longer the game goes, the more they you just instantly just keep triggering, ki killing off stuff as long as you don't have to deal with them getting into Susanomon. So just keep that in mind. Gallimon here. Your turn, this is your mind, I guess, plus 2,000 DP. And your turn, while you have a Red Tamer, the maximum DP of your effects that delete Digimon increase to 2,000 DP. In increases in 2,000 DP. So you can combo this in, making a 3,000 with the War and this Gallimon. So now your, you know, Ramon here can delete something a little bit bigger. I mean, this, this can delete something bigger. This can delete a 10K. This can basically make sure that you can delete anything like that. Choose any number of your opponent's Digimon with a total DP that adds up 6,000 or DP or less. Delete them. This does increase, so plus 2,000 makes it 8,000, plus the 1,000 here. That's just really good, all in all. Uh, Megidramon, just to help mill stuff. If you can't delete one of your opponent's, DP, opponent's Digimon with 10,000 DP or less, or it gets bigger because of... You know, Gallantmon and the War Growlmon, 13s very easily. If not, just trashing five cards really helps out. And then on deletion, you get to play a Gilmon and a Takato from your trash without paying their memory costs. So that can help out get some extra swings in. Uh, we got delete all your opponent's Digimon with the highest DP. Trash one card from the top of your opponent's security stack. Increase the number of cards trashed by this effect for every 10 cards your opponent's trash when attacking. So this could lead to winning games because Takato is going to help you do that. Lightning Joust basically in here for that minus the security. So basically it's all about controlling your opponent's board state and then just punishing them the later the game goes. Just how that's going to go. Uh, next we do have Yalzamon. This deck is all about self milling itself. And the more cards you have the more likely you can do extreme plays. It's all about getting into blast mode. And just comboing off from there. So at start of turn, if you have two or less memories, set your memory to three. When one of your Digimon attacks, you may suspend this Tamer to trash the top card of your deck. Then if attacking a Digimon is Beelzemon, you can digivolve it into Beelzemon burst mode from your trash with for a cost of three memory. So basically what you're going to do is get into Beelzemon here. Because when 
When Digivolving or when attacking, you may trash the top two cards of your deck. You may delete one of your opponent's level three or lower Digimon for every 10 cards. The maximum level goes up. The highest this can go is into a level seven because you'll be pretty much decked out at that point. Uh, this one allows you, if you're at 10, instantly you go on top of an Impmon and go up. Uh, this Impmon's really cool because at security at the end of the battle, you may play one purple level three. Nope, that was not it. You're not the card, if I remember correctly. You are supposed to be... Sorry about that. I thought I grabbed the right Impmon. The right Impmon is an EX Collection. This one. Sorry about that. That was the promo Impmon that we have no access to right now. So this Impmon here is when this card is trashed from your deck. If this wasn't trashed by its own effect, you may trash three cards on top of it. On play, reveal the top four cards. To add one card with Bialzaman in its name and one Aya and Mako a card from among them to your hand. Place the reigning cards in the bottom of your deck in any order. And also, while this Digimon has Bialzaman in its name, it gets plus 3,000 DP. We can climb up really nastily. Uh, the main thing we're trying to do here is, like, even with Black War Greymon, it, Black War Growlmon here, is its Digiburst skill sets up for multi-attacking, which we can get into, let's say, even Blast Mode. For every 10 cards in, in your trash, this Digimon gains extra security checks. He's a 15,000 DP body. Uh, when in Digivolving, all your opponent's Digimon with the highest level, delete all of them. And then when this card is trashed, he instantly deletes a level four or lower. Uh, Jack raids to continue plays because we need to and we're just self-milling so quickly. Gazi shuts off the mirror match or anybody else that's trying to use mem boosts and stuff like that. Uh, miss mem boost is just delay, draw, mill, you know, just fun stuff. Alice is in here for a very interesting reason. So when you're level five or level five Digimon would Digivolve into a level six card, you may delete one of your other Digimon to roost the memory costs that digi digi evolution by three so basically making it so that when we go in, from black war Gramon into this bialzamon it becomes free and what's really nice about Do dobermon is while you have an alice in play when playing this card from your hand reduce the play cost by two and then on deletion trap three cards from your deck then return one purple card or tamer from your trash to your hand so it kind of just sets up uh major plays here that you want to use with black war Raumon with your Bialzamon and just set up because then you can in blast mode very easily and it's just very powerful deck uh I think these those first three I've shown you are very much what you want to see going into this meta uh next we do have Sukuyamon this is a very new deck its main focuses are using these things called plug-in options they're two cost and most of their effects relate to whenever you play a two cost, you get the minus DP of your opponent's Digimon. Uh, one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 2,000 DP. So, and it's stacked, so you're going to constantly do that. What's really nice is about Renamon, it's a searcher, but it also gains you a memory, so making this a one cost. But what's really nice about Pata as well is it can gain you memory as well if you minus their DP low enough. So Kuyamon does it too, so your turn when using an option card with using two costs or more. One of your opponents did you win that's minus 3,000 DP. So again, you can just remove board state the more you stack up. And what's really nice about Rika is allowing you to use your plug-in options for free by resting her as long as you have a Renamon to the Renamon line. So you may suspend the tamer. Really good. You get draws, extra security checks, stuff like that. And then when did you follow unsuspend one of your Digimon and for each tamer you have return one option to your hand. So the wider your tamer board gets, really good. Blinding Radio Extend plays. Uh, cute Mons being Cute Mon. Yellow Mem Boost to search. We kind of Zephyr Mon just for that final swing game. Chimera Mon is just the Jogress game kind of status. It's all good stuff. Uh, Pukumon is just there for options to or more draw cards. So it extends more. Even if you use the green one instantly, it's really cool. And all you just need is a Tamer in play to use these. So you don't need to have color requirements. It's a very interesting control style mid range deck. So definitely give it a try. I don't know if this is going to do crazy tops, though. Now we have a new control deck in green, and that's Mega Gargomon. So Mega Gargomon is suspend one of your opponent's Digimon for each green tamer you have in play, and those Digimon do not unsuspend during your opponent's next unsuspend step. Kind of shuts down a little bit of stuff, but when attacking, return one of your opponent's suspended Digimon with less than DP than this Digimon to its owner's hand. 
So what's really nice is that we have like Gargomon here gets plus 2,000 for each of your opponents. When Whenever your opponent's Digimon is, becomes suspended, you gain an extra 2,000 DP. So he becomes a 15k body very easily and then just removes threats. And then when this Digimon would Digivolve, if you have a green Tamer in play, reduce the memory cost by one. Uh, we also play Rapidmon in here, the golden one for the Armored Purge, because our rookie lineup is mostly Terriermons. This Terriermon reveals top five to get a Gargo and a Rappa. So you can grab pretty much half the line. And then that's all you really care about. And then you have the new Terrier. So your turn when a, when you play a green Tamer, gain a memory. And then has the same as our good friend Gargomon is gaining the extra 1,000 DP. We're going to use Digisorption cards to just get into our big boss Digimon easier. Uh, Rapidmon is if you have a green Tamer in place to spend one of your opponent's Digimon. But also, when one of your opponents becomes suspended, gain an extra security check. Applying pressure. Me Mega Gargomon from the original set. Suspending your opponent's Digimon. You know, it's just all about suspending and locking them down. And then you can just use the new Mega Gargo to bounce around big threats that you don't like. A uh, Kalamon just helps you draw and get advantage. I mean, it's really good. And it just makes it so you can... When you play this card, if you have it, it's just a reduced cost to one. Uh, green Memory Boost... It Searching, you know, gain extra memory, hidden potential discover, reducing costs. Willis is in here, so on play, you may hatch one Digi Egg to an empty space. And then when one of your Digimon Digivolves into a Digimon with Gargomon, Rapamon in its name, you may spend this Tamer to reduce the Digi Evolution cost by one. So making like even Gargomon here, you know, free, which can be really good. Uh, Henry is a memory setter. And when you have a Digimon with Gargomon or Rapamon in its name attacks, you may suspend this Tamer to spend one of your opponent's Digimon. Uh, really good. And then Izzy, when your opponent's Digimon is suspended on your turn, you gain a memory. So it's all comboing off. It's a very powerful control deck. You use rookies that Digitama that draw you cards, Terriermon to shut off things. And it's just all about being a Terriermon fan. So I hopefully you enjoyed that one. Next, let's talk about Leomon. Leomon kind of doesn't really have a deck per se. He kind of just is a small engine in himself. So I think the best version is using like Bonds of Bravery. I mean, Bonds of Friendship to multi-attack because you can use the attack plugin to give an extra security check. And what's really nice is like Leomon has the ability to be a blocker to die, you know, and gain you two memory and a draw. I mean, I feel bad for Jerry having to see this every time, but you may play a Leomon from your hand without paying its memory cost. Really good there. But also opponent's turn when your opponent's Digimon attacks, you can spend this Tamer to draw. So... You may really adds in more draw advantage and getting you further ahead. Then you use kind of cards to slow down. We kind of know what the Gabu Bond package is. The Gomamon's really in here for the Leomon package. Lobomon is just in here to default on top of our tamers. You know, Matt lets us warp into the Bonds of Bravery to get the multi attack. Bonds of Friendship, not Bravery, multi attacking. Crimson Blades to help control. High speed plug in to make it so that it has jamming. So again, we're just trying to get multi-security checks and just go, 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 go. Innocent Blizzard to help lock down your opponent's stuff. Uh, Howling to lock down your opponent's stuff. Ice Wall to prevent your opponent from swinging at you. Davis is still a fantastic card. Sora Joe, because we're ripping around sources, as long as they don't jog us, we're fine. And then we do play Hero, so that if we don't see the high-speed jamming plugin, we can at least, if we see Hero, we can at least go in for, you know... A little more beefy swings than our 14 we can go to 16 and just combo out from there just all in all just bonds with leomon is really fun uh and then finally justimon justimon is really interesting i feel like the deck is one of the lacking luster decks it's got promise because it's got so much synergy with the cyborg typing because you got kazu and rio rio just letting you do what you need to because it lets you search and then when your black digimon attacks you may spend this tamer to have your opponent's that your Digimon get 1,000 DP until the end of your opponent's next turn. Uh, Kazu's just in here for when your Digimon with Cyborg or Machine in his traits gets suspended. By suspending this Tamer, draw a card, then discard a card from your hand. Helps filter and gets you stuff. Hero's just boosting up Justimon. But you can also go into Ragnalordmon to finish games. because Or make it a big beefy blocker. Sometimes you do need that. Uh, super plug-in just to draw you a card. It's just all in all good stuff. I mean, you know, it's just fantastically good stuff i mean Mon mondramon 
on play reveal top four cards at add all black tamers among them to your hand place the reigning cards on <laughs> you know just all good stuff strike Dramon, you know revealing top four doing the same thing when did you evolving if you have two or more black tamers in play gain a memory when attacking cyber Dramon, if you have two or more black tamers did you evolve one of your opponents digimon uh when did you evolving if you have a rio rio from you may play a rio without paying its memory cost and then while you don't have a tamer in play this digimon can't attack a player restricting you needing a tamer but that's fine iron fist on lot slot the pop things uh mega Dramon just to add more power behind your swings giga Dramon just to make it more defensive if you need it uh blitz arm let's really talk about this uh it has a when did you evolving activate the following effect this digimon gets plus 2000 dp for the turn unsuspend this digimon and then delete one of your opponent's digimon with a play cost five five or less and when attacking once per turn activate when did you evolving for each tamer you have in play so the more tamers you have, the more you can keep triggering. So that's really cool. I think Justimon has promised, but I think BT10, it really need, gets what it needs to be a little more better, well flesh. I think it's going to need at least one more round of support for it really to be extremely competitive. But you're just playing a bunch of cyborgs, just trying to go out with them. So guys, what do you think about the new decks coming in? What deck are you playing first? Let me know down in the comments. I would love to hear it, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace!